Hi guys, I am going to do a bag opening. Um, so, I have a Target baby registry, or had one. Um, it was completed, I had to fill out and make a Target baby registry for the Bump Club box. One of the requirements was make a Target registry and then you had to watch some videos. Well, I completely forgot about my Target registry until I got the email that my registry was complete, or baby should be here. It was something along the lines, baby should be here, so here's your discount for the registry. So, um, in that, also they had a code to get the welcome baby bag. I had not gotten one when I made this primarily because I didn't think Target was doing them because of the COVID-19. So I actually called my local Target and asked them, I'm like, are you guys doing the baby registry bags? And the lady said, yes, you know, you have to wear your mask because of local ordinance. But um, as long as you have that barcode from your registry, you can get a baby bag. I think the reason they're doing it this way is that way to make it fair for people with the baby bags. So I know when my son and daughter were babies, anytime I walked into Target, it was like they were throwing them at you. And in fact, one time I was in, or a couple of times I was in there with my mom, and um, you walk in, you look pregnant, and they're like, oh, have you registered for or done your baby register yet? And you would say, yeah, oh, well, here's your bag, is like what they would do. And a few times, like, my mom was with, and they're like, oh, are you grandma? My mom would be like, yes. And they're like, oh, here's one for grandma, too. So I think they're trying to, to make sure everybody just gets one, because I know for a while, um, some places, they were running out of them, where people that were pregnant and had registries couldn't even get them because some people were getting multiple ones. So they've kind of cut it down to you have to have a baby registry and you have the scan thing and they scan it and they literally bring this up at the register. So anyways, um, I was able to pick it up today. So let's see what's in it. I haven't taken a peek yet. Um, first off, we've got something from Pampers. It says Pampers Swaddler. Mommy to be gift registry. I believe I saw this on Crystal Life with Crystal's website. It came in her um, box from Walmart, I believe. Let's take it apart. Open it up. And I think it's a changing mat. I I remember correctly. Yes, it is. So it's just a a changing mat, and you've got. Some coupons, uh, $5 off, purchase of diapers and wipes, so I will be giving that to my friend because she's been purchasing diapers for her niece. And then we've got a coupon for Cascade, some Dawn dish soap. Um, of course, after I just bought a bunch for my daughter, some draft, my daughter uses draft. Um, so I'll probably be using that. A one dollar off of wipes and a dollar off of a swaddlers. A dollar fifty. So there's some coupons. And then um, stock your registry. Babies go through five to eight diapers each day. So is that a pamphlet or is that just a, a one-sided deal or a double-sided deal? Um, then the Pampers Club download scan. Oh my gosh, Pampers has now made it easier to save your codes. You just scan them with your phone, unlike having to enter that whole thing in. And this one has um, a free 100, 100 points. They used to have that when my kids were. And then um, March of Dimes. And then a six pack of wipes, and it looks like one size one diaper i'm gonna get size one it's got a blue background with a little snail on it so personally I, i'm not too fond of the changing mat because pretty much every diaper bag you get you get a 
changing mat with it. So I, I personally liked when Pampers had um, the bags better. In fact, I just purchased another one of their bags. Um, the local resale shop back home had somebody had brought it in and they were selling it and they sold it to me for a dollar. No, 95 cents. So I'm like, score, 95 cents, it's mine. Because um, I really loved those bags because they work so well to keep my real care stuff organized. Like, I had one, I, I have one for each one of my real cares. So it has like their bottle, their charger, um, their spare ID. Like, all the parts go into the little bag and then the bag goes into the box. I loved those bags for that. I mean, those bags were fantastic. And now we get a changing mat. Pampers, if you're watching this, please go back to the bag because... Even as a parent of an older or of older children, I never used the changing mat in all honesty when my babies were little because it was just an extra step. I would pull out the wipes, wipe down that changing table with a wipe, and then plop the baby up there because this just, it got cumbersome. Um, babies would squirm off of them. I just I never used the changing mats. They were just more of a hassle to me. Okay. So next I've got an Aquaphor sample that's just a little um, on the card. We also got a ooh, three month Just One You white onesie. That'll be nice. That looks, that will look like that will fit Miss Macy when I change her body. Although I still don't need a sleeveless one. Um, I got a package of boogie wipes. Uh, tip to parents, these things are fantastic when your kids are little. Um, they're made with saline. You can get unscented or scented. This one is unscented. Um, there was also strawberry and grape scented ones. My kids hated their nose wiped. I would have to use either a baby wipe, but even then sometimes they would cringe. But these boogie wipes, because of the smell... Like for my son, we'd go, okay, now smell in. So when he would smell in, the saline would go up his nose. And then we would, okay, blow it out. That's how I taught my son how to blow his nose was with boogie wipes because of the smell. And because they had saline in them. Okay, we've got Pedialyte Hydrate with number one doctor recommended brand. Hydrating for two. What is this? Oh, Pedialyte has a pregnancy electrolyte. Ooh, and it's strawberry lemonade. That, that sounds like a good one. Um, and then it talks about the Similac Mom program. How do I... Okay. I scanned for a $3 off coupon for the Pedialyte. Um, let me check. Carbs aren't that bad. There's 12 grams of carbs, which is 12. It turns into 12 sugar. And there's only 50 calories in this packet. Um, for somebody who dehydrates very easily because after having surgery, I'm, I'm not able to drink as much water as I, sh I need to. I push it every day. Some days are better than others. And then there's some days that I just feel horrible and I know I'm dehydrating. Um, even like I'm dehydrated from not drinking enough water as well as I'm missing electrolytes and I know when I feel I'm off. So... This would be fantastic, especially in a powder stick. Heck yeah. And if it actually tastes good like the strawberry lemonade, I will be scanning for my uh, $3 off coupon. What else do we have in here? We've got a package of 10 Honest um, Baby Wipes. And I've noticed Honest Wipe are now 99% water as well, plant-based wipes. So I think after um, water wipes came out, a lot of baby wipes went to more water-based than other chemicals. We've also got two breast storage bags with two nursing pads. I will be passing this off to my friend for her niece um, because she is breastfeeding and pumping. We also got a Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. That will be going to her too. And then a Johnson's Cotton Touch Newborn Wash. The body wash and shampoo. 
Just a little bottle of that. There's something in there. Oh, there is. So we also got a man bottle. Am I able to get into it? So there's something in the bottle. I'm gonna have to get my silver for this. I think they would make this easier to open, but I guess not. And like this bottle's got some weight to it, and I noticed there's some stuff in it, so it's sorry guys, the camera fell. Hopefully you're seeing this. Okay. I'm hoping you guys were seeing everything because I just realized the camera wasn't even tilted the right direction. So I've got this MAM bottle. It is a five ounce MAM bottle. It's like this whitish color on the bottom and on the top. Um, for those that don't know, you dismantle a MAM bottle and you can actually sterilize the bottle itself in the microwave. Um, one reason why I loved it. So here's the cap. And you open this bottom, let's get everything out. Oh my gosh. So there's also a cute little meh pacifier in it, and it's got a mommy bear and a baby bear. And then inside is also some information on man bottles and pacifiers. So my daughter drank only out of man bottles as a baby, so that's how I know how to do this. So you disassemble the man bottle. You have to make sure this is, thing is in the bottom. Put the nipple in there. You screw it back on. And on the cap, there's measurements. A lot of people wonder why there's these. Hopefully you can see the measurements. So on the cap, there's measurements here. I don't know if you can see them now with my finger there. So there's ounces on one side and milliliters on the other side. Um, you can use that as a measurement for like if you're trying to give baby some like an an older child you can use it as a measuring cup but it's to get water to measure water oh, i did this wrong so okay to dismantle you take the nipple and you put it you don't put it all the way in you put them in the bottom put the bottom back on you measure out the 50 milliliters of water dump it in there and you put it on top and you microwave it for, I think it's 30 seconds. Oh, do they have the directions in here? I think it's 30 seconds. Oh, that's the pacifier. Okay. How to sterilize. Um, Okay, so if you have one bottle, you need to put it in for three minutes. You have two bottles, four minutes. Three bottles, five minutes. Four bottles, six minutes. Five bottles, seven minutes. Six bottles, eight minutes. But yeah. This is how you sterilize them. These are self-sterilizing bottles. I absolutely loved them for that fact because and you can throw a pacifier. There are pacifiers in there too um, to sterilize them while you're at it. They'll fit in. Um, but when my daughter was a baby, she would only use man bottles. My son had a few. My, as long as milk was coming out of it, my son would drink out of it. My daughter, on the other hand, only man bottles. And it was nice to have the man bottles that were self-sterilizing, especially like if you were going to a hotel. So you'd have your bottle, you'd use your bottle, and I know, at least me, I hated taking like 800 bottles to a hotel. It was a pain in the butt. So I would take like one or two. Because I knew the man bottles were self-sterilizing. So what I would do is you'd use the bottle. I'd rinse, give it a good rinse out. Um, we'd usually take a small... Um, I had one of these size bottles of Dawn dish soap. And just put a few drops in there, wash it out. And then I was able to self-sterilize. I was able to sterilize them in the microwave. So it made it nice when they were little and like having to go to hotels. 
And the last thing in the Target bag is a Dr. Brown bottle. Let's open that up as long as I'm opening everything else up. So it's a Dr. Brown four ounce typical um, white baby bottle. And it has its little dingle hopper on there. I don't know what to call it. Filter, vent, whatever you want to call them. So this year's Target bag is actually pretty good. The only thing I'm disappointed in is, and it's not Target's fault, is this Pampers um, changing that. I'm just, I, I'm not a fan of it. I like the bags. And I know some people are like, yeah, well, there's change and everything. I get it. But change up the bags. Don't give me something that's, a, I get in every diaper bag that you purchase comes with a change mat. And I don't know of anybody that loses their change mat aside from they lose it at home because they took it out of the diaper bag because they never used it. That, that's my whole rant on that. I mean, if you wanted to change it up and make it a bigger bag, I wouldn't have been opposed. Or even if you would have given us a couple diapers and had me email or go on some website to sign up for something to get a diaper bag I, I just I'm not a fan of that bag or the change mat but other than that it was a pretty good um, welcome baby bag from Target so this is what you would get I got this in July 2020 so I'll probably getting another one next year um, seems like people like it when I get these baby boxes and baby registry things so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye!